Gary, something approaching the perfect afternoon. What's your reaction? Yeah, very, very good performance. Um, I saw Bromley on Tuesday evening at Dagenham and they gave a very good account of uh, themselves against a team who are, who are currently second in the, in the table. So we knew it was going to be a difficult, uh, difficult game, but I thought our performance uh, this afternoon was very good. Given Bromley's recent performances, what you knew they're capable of, that adds extra quality, extra calibre to your own performance this afternoon? I think so. I think uh, the way we uh, approached the game and the way we went into the game, I thought we were patient early on um, because of the way obviously Bromley set themselves up. Um, but we were able to, with a fine strike by Nick Arnold, tongue in cheek, um, got us underway, you know. But we were playing some good football up until that point. But, uh, you know, with some good performances today, you know, Idris Kanu today, I thought um, during the course of the first half was unplayable. Um, it caused a lot of problems for them. And then you look at, you know, I don't like, as you know, talking about individuals, but I can throw Jim Kellerman at you. He's come into the side, done well. Nick Arnold has been out for a period of time. It's done very, very well. So, but as a group today, I thought we were very good. You said we had to be patient in the first, first maybe the first quarter of the game. But by half time, we'd move through the gears really quickly. Yeah. Some brilliant football and yeah. we're good value for two 0 I think so. Um, even though obviously Nick Arnold's goal um, got us underway, but you know, Benny was showing flashes of uh, genius skill, if you like. Uh, we were good, we were good value for that. Um, but I did say to the players, look, we were 2-0 up uh, against Barrow here. Have we learned anything from the Barrow game? And uh, I said, I'll find out at five o'clock if we have or not. And I think as a group, we've learned and we've matured in a short period of time. And I've got my, I've got my answer at five. I think the look on your face has already suggested what you've got to say about Nick Arnold's goal. Has he tried to claim that he meant it? I think he said it's a wonder strike. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's delivered a ball in the box with the conditions as well. You know, it's always going to cause uh, a defence problem to the goalkeeper. And for us, it got us underway. Um, but you need a little bit of uh, luck along the way as well. But I thought uh, the other goals were of uh, some quality. Shamir Fenelman back in the side. He was one of those goal scorers, and having been out of the team, he was, came back in, responded really well, and it was a fine strike from him. It was a good strike from him. Um, We've got some good players in them wide areas and we're able to uh, rotate for want of a better way of putting it. Uh, but he's come and he scored his goal. Um, Jake, Jake uh, Lampard Gallagher, as I said, off camera, has uh, got himself on the end of a, uh, a delivery into the box to score. And then Matty McClaw's strike from distance. You know, it was a, a, a well hit goal and I was I'm really pleased for him as well. And that was it, you, you already mentioned it at half time, the challenge was to, to keep that intensity, keep yes. the, the, the desire going and that, that was the challenge at half time, the game, it wasn't won at 2-0, as no. we know, it's never won, but that, was, that was, must have been impressive that the, the team did keep that intensity and desire going. Yeah, we did and as we all know, 2-0 is a very, very difficult scoreline because if the opposition score, you know, the momentum's with them, but you know, if you get that third goal, you're able to then manage the game properly and we were in a position then to make some changes, uh, get some good quality players on the, on the field of play to get minutes as well and we were able to manage the game uh, well during the course of the second half. And in both halves it, it could have been more than the four goals, there was a real swagger about the team in, in parts this afternoon. Yeah, they played with some confidence um, but if you would have said to me before the game we'll take a clean sheet, three points and we, we score four goals. You know, everybody would be delighted with that. But um, look, probably a difficult opposition, you know, and we've seen that in recent weeks how tough they are. So that makes makes our performance good, but it also makes our result at Wrexham even better to back it up with a performance and result like we did today. You mentioned the clean sheet there. It's not a perfect afternoon without the zero on the other end of the four, and that's I think that's now 15 this season, one more than the whole of last season. Once again, a superb defensive platform. Yeah, I thought the, the, uh, the whole team could build yeah, on. Yeah, I thought the back four were very good, and when Coley was called upon, you know, he was, con you know, his concentration levels were very, very good. He had an opportunity during the second half there, and uh, he's come off his line and to make make the save and that. So, uh, yeah, all in all, a very good uh, afternoon. That's now nine games unbeaten for the first time I think in six years. Clearly, we spoke about the only unbeaten run that matters is next weekend, but or on, on Tuesday. But yeah. the, the confidence there that the team can take to Eastleigh. 
from that nine games must be immense. Yeah, no, we, I think we saw that during the you know during periods of that game today. The way, as you already say, they played with a swagger. Um, but as I said to the players up there, and I'll repeat it, you know, after every uh, game, you know, we can't affect today's game. We're going into a game Tuesday, uh, which is a difficult game, you know, uh, under new management. Um, first game at home, so there will be an upturn, I'm sure, from their players. Um, we have to go there and make sure that we uh, put in a performance. If we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance in the game. Thank you, Greg. Congratulations. Thank we'll you. see you on Tuesday. Thank you.